we're going to be talking about the Lord's Prayer in this question. And it says, uh, in anyone who knows anything about the Lord's Prayer, uh, Matthew 6, 9, or Luke 11, 2, would agree that it's perfect, that it's a perfect prayer or a perfect patterned prayer uh, because Jesus gave it to us, they said. Uh, that being said, why didn't he include anything about being thankful and loving to the Father? Mm. Go ahead. Well, I, I'll just give my perspective. I mean, Steve might have a lot more to say about it, but this is, we call it the Lord's Prayer, but it's really the disciples' prayer. It's really the believer's prayer. It's, it's, he's giving us an example. Jesus, he taught how to be uh, godly, and he, he, he laid these principles down. This is how he says you ought to pray, right? When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. What is it recognizing? Uh, God's ultimate authority, his sovereignty in all things. Your kingdom come, your will be done. So this is how we want to address God. There's aspects of this prayer that will always be incomplete because our prayers are always different. <laughs> it's probably the, one of the problems that some of the denominational churches that made this kind of like this rote thing that people just recited like a mantra that takes the power out of it. So what he's doing is he's teaching us how do we address God, how do we set our hearts and minds in our prayers, looking to God, give us this day our daily bread. That's that provision. Well, I might not say that. I might say, Lord, I, you know, I'm asking for you to provide something else for me today. Yesterday it was bread. Today it might be gas in the tank, whatever. It's the idea of you coming to the Lord. You're recognizing he's the source of, of everything that we need. And so I'm addressing him with honor and respect. And then I'm laying my request be known to him. And then forgive us our sins. And I, I understand, you know, there's a, that, that acronym ACTS, uh, Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, Supplication. And some people believe that, well, this isn't in the same order as ACTS. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the idea is we're adoring the Lord, we're confessing our sins, we're thankful for um, all he's done, even answering our prayers from the last time we prayed. And, and, uh, and then we're me, me, making our requests known. A supplication is supply something that I'm lacking, right? Yeah. Um, I, you know what? I, uh, actually, I think it starts off with praise and mm -hmm. adoration towards, God, the, yeah. towards the Father. Thanks. It says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And so uh, I use this, uh, you know, Bruce is talking about it being a model prayer for disciples. I use this all the time when I'm praying. Mm -hmm. And, and so the first thing I'm doing when I'm praying is I'm recognizing that God is my father. And so that's huge. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, I came from a broken family and, mm -hmm. you know, none of the guys hung around. And so the fact that God is my father is a big fat deal mm -hmm. to me. And I'm, I'm thankful Thank for you. the fact that he loves me and he cares about me. He knows me better than I know myself. And, and uh, he wants to be with me. Everything that a father is. Uh, God is the perfect father. And so I'm, you know, when I'm praying, I'm thanking God for being my perfect father, uh, the one that fulfills what fatherhood is all about in my life. I'm thanking him for allowing me and his family. And so there's adoration there on my part towards the mm -hmm. Lord because of that. <clears throat> and it says our father in heaven, not our father on earth. And so he's my father in heaven. And so there's there's an aspect of my relationship with God, where I recognize that I'm tight with him and he's like my father, but he is my father in heaven. Mm -hmm. And in Ecclesiastes, it talks about, you know, God's in heaven, you're on earth. Therefore, let, let your, your words word be few. <laughs> <laughs> Don't offer the sacrifice of fools, you know, and, and that kind of thing. And so there's a respect there. Uh, I recognize that he, he, he knows more than any father can know. He knows me, again, better than I know myself. He knows my future. He's, he's the one who knows all, you know, he's God. And so I'm praising him for being not only my father, but my father in heaven. And then it says, hallowed be your name. Mm -hmm. And hallowed uh, is the idea, it comes from the word hagias. Uh, uh, it's, it, it's a word that means uh, set apart for glory. Mm -hmm. And so... I, I am praising God for his glory. I'm th praising him for his greatness. I'm, I'm praising him for his fame, for the, for the fact that uh, he's the creator, all of that stuff. And so mm -hmm. you, you can tell this is, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And so when I, when I begin praying and I'm going through the Lord's Prayer, usually I'm worshiping and I'm thanking God for everything that he's been in my life 
thanking him for the fact that he's the creator, he's the holy one, he's, he's the perfect one, all of that stuff. Uh, before I ever get into, you know, like what Bruce is talking about, supplication and and the things that, that um, he's got coming. This, the second thing that I'm praying for is for his kingdom to come. Yeah. You know, that's it's the next thing. I want Jesus come to come Jesus. back. Yeah. <laughs> get me out of here. And, and for his will to be done and so on as you go through it. But yeah, I think I think it's it's in the passage. And so um, I, I referenced a couple of things. Um, you could go through, uh, if you wanted to do a study on this, and just go through all the passages that talk about God being the Father and mm. what that means and um, what hallowed is all, of, all yeah. about, um, God being made holy, and what the name is all about. The name has to do with the character of God. And so God has a lot to say about his name, too. There's a, there's a really cool Bible study in that one verse. Yeah. And, and it, it'd be worth going and checking out. So if you understand the philosophy of that passage, uh, thanksgiving in the sense of provision, supplication, glory, worship, you're not getting through that without being thankful and loving yeah. the Father. Yeah. And, yep. and the, the thanks goes right hand in hand with the praise, yep. the, the exaltation. Yep. You know, and, and he even ends, you know, if yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Yep. There's, there's just... Starts with glory. Ends starts with, with, yeah, it's yep. just, it, it all comes back to him. And, and we're just so privileged to be a part of this kingdom that he's invited us to be a part of, right? Yep. <laughs> and the crown, uh, you, don't we get a crown for loving the return of Jesus, of yeah. Jesus, which is tied to that verse of mm -hmm. wanting your kingdom to come back. So it's all tied. Yeah. It's all tied together. Yeah. Beautiful.